Are you serious? Are you serious? This is a prophecy alert. Now, you remember the 13-year-old girl that was stabbed to death in her bedroom at night when a 17-year-old Palestinian boy came into the house and stabbed her to death. Well, uh, the mother of this 13-year-old uh, Halil Ariel, uh, she is calling upon all Jews to ascend and rally on the Temple Mount next Tuesday, July the 12th. This is huge. This is huge. Matter of fact, the stabbing of this young girl last week led to the young teenager's family to take the horror and turn it into the message of hope, according to breaking Israeli news, and hope and holiness, they say, around the Temple Mount. In a controversial call for Jews to ascend to the Temple Mount next Tuesday, July 12th, her parents hoped to counter the terror that killed their daughter. Now, visitors who came to console on Sunday, the family expected to see a, a mother overcome by the most powerful grief that a mother could experience. But instead, they, greeted, they were greeted with a moving message. Quote, by coming here, by living here, we are showing that we will win. The grieving mother told visitors, I am married to a priest. I am the daughter of a priest. The way we continue is to show that if we go up to the Temple Mount and work hard to build the temple, our own houses will not be destroyed. Uh, quote, my sister lives on the Mount of Olives near the Temple Mount. She continued, I live far from the temple near Hebron. So our story starts in Hebron, but it will end in the temple, on the Temple Mount. Now, you guys may know I've interviewed Yehuda Glick, Rabbi Yehuda Glick, three times now in the last year and a half. Uh, I interviewed him last October. We aired it on television, and I just interviewed him three weeks ago. It's going to air on television very soon. Some of that has already aired here on my YouTube channel. But uh, last October, he wanted me to interview him at the place that he was shot four times and nearly died to walk onto the actual spot and explain it. And it's, it's a, an interview is on my YouTube channel. But he also gave me a, a book, uh, his book called Arise and Ascend. And that's exactly what uh, this mother is saying. It's time to arise and ascend and to build the temple. Now, folks, those of you who study Bible prophecy, you know that Jesus in Matthew 24 asked the question about, can you tell us the sign of thy coming, the end of the world, that one of those major milestones was when you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place, whosoever reads, let him understand. Now, Daniel had a, a dream and had seen where there had been a covenant with many had been uh, signed and that there was a an abomination of desolation that took place on the Temple Mount. Jesus then refers to it as a major milestone of the end times. Apostle Paul explains to us what that means in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 when it talks about the Antichrist, the wicked one, the lawless one, the son of perdition who actually goes into the temple on the Temple Mount, goes into the temple and declares that he is God before the worshipers of God. All right? It's an abomination of desolation. And then John the Revelator in the book of Revelations in the 11th chapter explains to us the actual blueprints of that temple, which is a modified temple, smaller, no outer court. That's left for the Gentiles. What's amazing is the very model, the very blueprints that Benjamin Netanyahu brought forth Rabbi Yehuda Glick has totally embraced, so has the Temple Institute and others, is a modified version of Solomon's Temple without an outer court. I mean, it's unbelievable. Now you have this mother calling on all Jews to arise and ascend next Tuesday, July 12th. Are you serious? Now, um, wow! Wow! We're going to talk about this. I'm going to give you the full report on this during our live broadcast coming up. We're also going to talk about Hillary Rodham Clinton. No charges. We're going to, okay. And Daryl Maya will be my guest. We're going to break down the Middle East madness. All of this we're going to cover in our live broadcast. It starts at 12 noon Eastern, so don't miss that. 
And if you do miss it live, watch the archive. Don't miss this. It will be profound. It will be prophetic. And it will be a right now word. I mean, seriously, right now word. I'll be back with more current world events, how they relate to Bible prophecy in just a few moments. But if you're not saved, it is time to accept Jesus Christ, Yeshua, as the Messiah. Be born again. Be ready to meet the Lord.